Cool, this is Pete from Metalheads and I'm here at the Hellfire Festival with Blaze Bailey. How's it going, man? Good, good. Yeah, so far so good. I mean, it's early in the day. I've had to yeah. turn up early because we've got a lot of interviews and everything today. But really looking forward to the festival. And yeah. um, there's music live on next door as well. It's, so yeah, there's, it's yeah. a bit all day cool. Yeah, so uh, hopefully it should be good. And I, and I know loads of people, like all the lads out of Saxon and... Yeah. Um, and uh, Benediction and Beholder and all of that so yeah. it's a bit of a get together as well so I'm really mm. looking forward to it yeah of course uh, you were sort of uh, pulled in uh, last minute for this really uh, off the back of the eval thing yeah you? sadly yeah. you know yeah. uh, Mike passed away and mm. uh, the lads from eval just couldn't do it mm. so uh, they offered us the slot and uh, you know I wouldn't have chose to get it that way but uh, hopefully we'll you know uh, hopefully it'll It'll go well for us. Mm, mm. Um, now, before this, um, you, were you, ta- you were talking through the UK as well, weren't you? Yeah. What's happened is we've had uh, promise and t- uh, we've had our album "Man Who Would Not Die," and we've we've gone uh, we've done most of Europe and we've done uh, Brazil as mm. well, and um, then we've had festivals through the year, and now we're working on the new album. But yeah, yeah these are like the last few dates now. Uh, we've got bits of the recording left to do but we're fitting shows around it and then um, the last show we've got this year is in uh, is in Switzerland on the 5th of December mm-hmm. cool. now um, as far as you know that's a, it's a big run through of dates that is mm. uh, you know uh, h- how did all the all that touring go I mean any sort of highlights uh, what's uh, your favourite yeah it's, it's, it's been good really the main thing started off uh, in Brazil in um, January and uh, I never had good experiences in in, in playing Brazil oh. my, myself I did with Iron Maiden but not with my yeah. own band and so I was a bit sceptical really, I had a lot of problems there before but the promoter who took us did a great job uh, mm. it was really really good So um, and the Brazilian fans were fantastic and I got to see a lot more of Brazil than I'd seen before um, so it was really, really good, and um, we put in the um, we put the Klansman in from Virtual Eleven yeah. album. We did our own version of the Klansman, which is a big, huge song for Maiden. Yeah, yeah. You know they still do it live, and we did our own version of that, yeah. and it went down really well. Yeah. Um, so oh, yeah. so that was a great start, really, to the year. Yeah. Uh, and then we came back from that and and carried on round Europe, and we did more dates in Italy than I've ever done before and uh, all through Scandinavia, went to Estonia mm. and Latvia and Lithuania for the first time as well. So so it's been really good. Where, where we haven't played as much, we didn't get to play in Spain. We only had a couple of shows in Germany mm. um, and only one in France. So what we're doing now is we're trying to uh, redress the balance for the next two. At the end of this year, we've got three we got two shows in France, and um, and hopefully we can we can start yeah. you know waking people up to what we're doing yeah, over there. So There's such a demand now for live music more than ever, isn't there? Yeah, I think I think what happened was for the industry that um, they were so insular and focused on sales and chart positions yeah. that they didn't really see that live music wasn't disappearing so as much as people say well we're um, not getting we're not getting the yeah. cd sales we're not getting this that and the other then uh, still people are finding music and people are going to gigs yeah. and people still want to go and see their favorite artists live that hasn't changed and in fact it's improved because um the the live scene went through a real lull in the late 90s and it was difficult to get gigs if you were playing original material and now playing original material you can go and play small gigs all over the uk yeah, yeah. so uh, we which we do we only do small places in the uk and we've managed to do it and make a living doing it so yeah. i think yeah live performance um has continued to evolve and people are still doing it what's great about that as well is bands are judged on their live performance which from rock and metal 
well it's all about live it's all about rehearse it's all about the musicianship it's all about being able to communicate your ideas and and being familiar enough with your instrument to to um, put that over i saw you at um metal fest you played there and something that he said uh, within the crowd about uh, only selling 500 copies mm. of that dvd and you know we're you know we, if you want anything in life you, you got to earn for it mm. and I, I think with myself and among the fans there's certainly a real connection there yeah well uh, i think part of what we've done is by doing things ourselves there's a lot of hardship and sacrifice to go with that but artistically then if you have that conviction then I think it's worth that sacrifice. It's it is tough at times, but you have to go. Well, am I going to compromise my feelings and what I feel that music should be from me for some for a chart position? Yeah. Absolutely. And the 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 whole way that the record business used to run with major labels and everything then people really want to tell you what to do they want to say well you can't have that title you can't have that cover you can't have that artwork and they've got nothing to do with writing the song yeah, yeah. so the people people are making uh, creative decisions on your behalf that have nothing to do with your music and then if it goes wrong blame you for it yeah so yeah. that's a, a horrible situation to be in and one i was in uh, a lot before maiden mm. and um and even in a small way when after maiden when i was with spv but um now we do everything ourselves and we manage to make just enough off much fewer sales doing exactly our own thing in the way that we want to do it yeah. so you know the people who actually earn the money are the people who are involved in the creative process and it goes back in to making the next thing and doing a bigger tour and, and all of that and going and see more places and just being able to turn up in more small towns in local venues where people haven't got to travel miles and pay a fortune for car parking. Yeah, yeah.